Hello everyone, here I am back with my second release. Hope you guys are doing well and I know the situation outside is not good due to quarantine. So request you to stay home and stay safe. So in this video, I'll be, you know, taking up the topic of incremental load. So many people have asked me to uh, create a video uh, as they don't see an informative video for this topic. So I'm trying to make a understandable and easy video of it. Uh, so hope you guys will like it. So in this video, it, it, it gonna be a bit long and I have divided into parts. So go through all the video so as to understand it all. Okay. So first, first of all, incremental load, you have to understand that there is no keyword like how we have in binary load, we have binary, mm, binary keyword and uh, resident load will have a resident keyword. So we do not have any keyword here. So it's absolute logic based. So let's take a, a, a example and understand where, when we use an incremental load and how we use an incremental load okay so when we use an incremental load so for example you have a very huge data and suppose the load itself takes hours to you know uh, convert into qvds so instead of you know loading the entire uh, entire data especially when there is no change in the historical record uh, what we do is we only try to insert the updated record so once in a while we'll do a full load so that the up, if there is an uh, update in the historical record that also comes into picture okay so let's take an example for example in a in a company uh, in a company so basically there are two types of two ways in which you can do incremental load so i'll take the second case later so now i'm gonna take the updated case uh, sorry first case okay so case in the case one what we have is uh, uh, in a company there uh, there there is a data where you have id employee name and date and in every half an hour there uh, there are uh, some employees joining the company okay so i know on this situation is not that real but you know i'm just taking an uh, taking an example okay so what happens is um uh, in in a company the, uh, every half an hour there is a uh there there, there is a um, uh, employee or there are employees joining every half an hour okay so suppose this data is so huge for example the table i have taken is this so the, the data is so huge that uh, it takes hours to load it but since there is every half an hour update of new records they 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 have asked or the client has asked to you know show those uh records or to run your application every half an hour so instead of you know loading the historical record uh so f uh, so fast uh, so, uh, so uh, in historical record what we have done is we will be inserting only the updated or the new record which is running or which is coming every half an hour okay so what i'm gonna do is i'll just click away this or cut away this data for now and i'll keep it over here okay so this is my table which is let's assume takes uh, hours to load or this consists of historical record okay so first of all you guys have to understand in incremental load there are two qvf files used one for the full load which runs very uh, um, uh, like uh, after a very a very long time or maybe after um, once in a month or once in six months something like that so in this situation we'll run this once in a month and uh, incremental load which uh, which is the one which runs every half an hour which the client have to, uh, has asked me to run every half an hour okay so suppose i have a data which is nothing but this so in the first time when i load entire data I load this entire data and store it in a QVD. Okay, so let's first understand the logic and then I'll show you how to implement it. So what basically what we have done is the particular record. Okay, I have not inserted this record. I'll go copy this record so that the people uh, who are new to click or new to oh, this kind of logic, they understand it better. Okay, so basically what happens is when you go over here, so this is the record which is old record okay or which has already historical record so in the first time what it gonna do is it will run a full load store these records into a qvd okay that qvd will search and take out the maximum date of it so 
the here we have a date column it can be any column it can be id column or a column which stores was the latest um, uh, record uh, date or specifically i have seen um, you know date column is the one which is uh, widely used so that is why i have taken the date column so what i am going to write a logic which will search all the column and take out the maximum record of it maximum date column of it okay so basically it is taking out the maximum date uh, you know the latest updated record of it so that date i will be taking up here then suppose today there is a new person so this guy zaheer has joined today okay or joined in uh, joined in just uh, 15 minutes before okay so in my qvd since i have loaded only these records this record is not present so there is no point of loading this record now i have to load only this record okay which is the new one okay so what i am going to do is i am going to search the entire list with respect to this variable and see which record has date more than this so specifically this guy will have that record or we can add few more record if you want so i am taking only one record for example so specifically i'll you know try to check which record has you know uh um, which record has more date or uh, greater date than this record so since this record i have already stored in a qvd that qvd i'll use search with respect to this um, uh, variable and take out uh, take out take out sorry uh, i'll i'll repeat it again so the q from the qvd i'll take out the maximum value or maximum date of it and then search the entire table take out only that record which has the maximum uh, um, record more than or the date more than this maximum date how to do that i'll show you okay so first of all we'll create a full load qvd so if you go and check the full load qvd remains the same so if you go here and check the full full load qvd is very similar to you know pulling that data particular data and store storing in the form of qvd so i am storing it in the name of emp doj okay so let let me first save this file okay and then i'm going to go here and load this data okay that's all so now what will happen if you go to my qvd folder you will see that this data got updated today okay, this consists of all the data now suppose what happened is 15 minutes before a new record mean to say this guy has come and come here okay so this record has i'll just specifically select this so this guy has joined the organization okay i'll save this file okay so now we have to show it in our incremental load okay so how to write the incremental load so very very easy so i'll go here what i'm going to do is uh i'll remove of this section okay i was trying to record the video initially it didn't happen okay so what i'm going to do is i'll go pull the qvd okay insert the script i do not need any other column so what i need the maximum date of this column so it is very similar to what we have done it in our uh, master calendar please go through the master calendar video also to get a better idea of it okay so i'm just giving it as max date okay so i'm just taking out the maximum date out of that table and store it in 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 this column so since i need it in the form of a table or sorry in the form of a variable so what i'm going to do is uh, take this value and store it in a variable so how to do that i'll just take a let v max date sorry v max date is equals to peak of in the single code first will come the column name sorry p e k peak and then there is only one column so zero sorry one rows that's why zero and then the table name okay so it going to store the value inside this variable i'll make num of it 
so that it can convert into number and numbers are faster that is why we converted it to number okay so even if you don't convert it gonna you know give give you the value so so basically what happened is it took took out the maximum data and stored it in this variable so i do not need i don't need this table any for, further so i'm gonna drop this drop table my table name is max data okay that's all i have to do so if i load this file over here if you see if i load this file over here it's going to store the maximum date okay so if you if i go to sheet analyzer check the variable okay so i have already created this variable that is something called v max and stored in the form of date so don't go by this this i think is not getting loaded Mm, okay fine so what i'm gonna do is reload this file again okay and check whether oh seriously oh, this is slow so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a app view in the second page so basically if i see over here it should store this data or i have i am not sure whether i have saved it with this data or not let's let's not um, let's take it in a, let's see first okay instead of you know going and checking that so what i'm going to do is pull a kpi box and make a measure is equals to is equals to date of my variable v max date i think that's that's me v max date right yeah so that's that's a date here v max date yeah so it is storing me the 10 25 2018 which is nothing but if i go here that's the date of it okay so now this is this is the record which came now mean to say 15 minutes before so I have to run an incremental load. So I'm sorry, why this master calendar opening? So if you go here, what you have to do is load back, load back the Excel file. So for me, it's an Excel. It can be a database as well. Okay, load back this data. So if you see over here, what is happening, you can see that Zaheer and all the other records are coming. So what I'm going to make over here is Okay, so I'll remove of the faulty columns. So what I'm gonna do over here, just give me one one minute. Yeah, so what I'm trying to tell over here is uh, I am not gonna load the entire data from it. What I'm gonna load only that record which is greater than this date. Okay, so from where we have found out, we have found it out from the QVD. So what I'm gonna name this table? It's uh, name this table as um, okay. I'll name it what we have it over here. Easy and simple. Okay. So I'll go name it like this. Write a where command here. So this is the logic. Nothing else. So where my date column my date is date is greater than dollar of v max date okay that's all so basically if you if i load now you you will come to know so basically what it has done it will search the research this excel okay so since this this date is the one which has stored in the variable it will research this excel and only take out this particular record okay so as to show you this i am gonna run this file okay so if you go and run this file you're gonna see over here only one record see only one record has been fetched so first from the first employee table there is only one record phase that is nothing but your max data data and from this record there is only one record fetched okay so now if you want to see it over here i'm gonna you know show it in the form of table view okay okay come on come on come on okay so now if you're gonna see over here 
in this table if you preview it only one record has come which is nothing but the new record this is I am fetching from the source now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to QVD load back that QVD so basically this QVD has the old records or the historical record okay and this is the new record which is coming from your source okay now both the table have exactly same column name so this gets concatenated and I'll just copy paste to make it faster so now both got recorded sorry both got concatenated and again it will store back in your in your uh, employee DOG QED so basically what happened I'll just revise it so from max of this date it took out the maximum date from the Excel so initially the data was only this and uh, this was the maximum date which got stored over there okay and then what happened is um, I loaded back so after after 15 minutes there is a, there, there is a person joined that is nothing but this guy just Zaheer he has joined and then uh, I have lo I have loaded back this Excel or loaded back this particular entire data okay and searched only that particular record which is new okay so basically this will give me only one record that is nothing but Zaheer and then that and then the old QVD what I have initially which I have done it from the full load has been you know used over here uh, and uh, used and stored stored in the form of QVD so basically what happens now tomorrow or uh, like if I load this data now okay so I'm not uh, you know dropping this table so basically e now you will get to see the incremental data so you can so you can write this after this this data so then what gonna come is this this data will come and then Zaheer will come into picture okay so like that this data uh, came and now this got stored into your QVD so I'll just take one more example okay so I know this I'll take one more so I'll, uh, let's not take it in that way seven I'll make suppose the record name as Prakash P R A K A S H Prakash and suppose I'll keep the date, date um, sorry um, I'll just increment the time so basically he joined after this guy and so that's the date so I'll save it okay now every half an hour right so uh, this guy joined after uh, after again uh, after and half an after half an hour so I'll when I load this incremental load again so I'll get to see only two record came into picture and you'll see Prakash and Prakash also you know coming into picture so so as to you know make it uh, you know similar to what we have it and uh, uh, like to store it in the form of in, in, in an order so I'm gonna push it up and now store it so now if you load the data you're gonna get it in the form of okay so since I have already loaded that is why it is coming like this so basically what you, you can do is mm, okay I'll, I'll i'll do it for you so i'll first cancel off this data okay and store it somewhere here and then save this file reload this data okay reload this data so now basically you have only those record in the qvd uh, except prakash and zaheer so now Prakash and Zaheer came into picture two records okay came and they they got stored into I'm sorry paste save so these are the two new records which came into picture now every half an hour this incremental load runs okay so this is gonna give you data and now it is also sorted okay so that's how the incremental load works so this is case one I'll show you in the next video the case two in which it is run so this is basically called as or the case one which is basically called as insert update records okay thank you thank you for watching this video follow my channel for and subscribe my channel for latest videos thank you have a nice day